Hey, what's up, how you doing? So in this tutorial, we are going to be um consuming our API. So we are going to be fetching our post data from our database. So basically, this is what we are going to be building. Um, this section here, you can see to load and to fetch our data from database. As you can see, we are going to set up our post model and our post controller. So if you are eyeing for this tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe. Watch till the end and oh no, let's just get started. All right. So before we start, this, something I want us to actually fix. Which is um in this case, so yeah, here I have a final box because of guest storage. So I want to go ahead and have this, and uh, I'm going to put this out of here. So we're going to have it here. Then we can go ahead and have um final token. There's a box read. All right, good. So save this, and what we now want to do is um. Uh, right here we're gonna do so if the token is actually no so if token dot value this is null so i'm having an error that says invalid concert value so yep so if it is not login page else you should go to the home page so i'm just going to cut this away then import home page here under that all right and uh, let's see this and see what we have all right so let's auto restart okay the value is not found so token dot let's just do if token is not i believe so all right good yeah so basically if you should restart and we are logged in, we should be redirected to the home page. As you can see, performing auto restart. Um, okay, so this 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 is not actually working. So we have token dots. We have to get it token value. No, we are already actually getting the token value already. So for some reason, we are coming back here. Okay. So if it is null okay all right so it's actually working all right it's actually working i don't know why it's taking me back to the home page at first then if i should if i should save now it should be moving back to the okay so this is weird oh, no, you know what we'll get back to this error later let's just go to what we came here to do so yep so what we want to do is um in our this stuff so we, and let's go ahead and copy the url so i'm just going to open my browser here i'm going to paste this i'm going to say api slash i believe it is um fits okay so i'm just going to call that Let's see what we have. Okay, you have to be logged in actually. Sorry. So let's just go on and open postman because I closed my postman that I don't want to. Let's why postman is open. Let's go ahead and do app dot quick type. So we're going to be using this to convert our API response to a model. So we want to have this and then what is the get? I need to just get um I need to just get the response type so when we have this i can replace this with this and this will be fit so let's go ahead and click on send i say get request so we have an error that says um oh sorry let's go ahead and send this all right, good. So basically, this is what I want. I'm just going to copy this. Don't copy the don't copy the comma. You don't need to copy the comma. So I'm just going to copy that. Then in our browser, where we have this, I'm just going to paste this here. I'm going to call this the post model. All right. Okay. So um, we can go ahead and copy this and go to our Visual Studio Code. Uh, not this place. Now in our models, we are gonna have a new model. We can call this post model dot dot. 
right so we can now paste this here and uh, we just need to fix some stuff in this place so what we can fix is um in this place here first we can just gotta make this nullable like this then um right here we can just gotta add uh, this from the donor side or the exclamation sign and also we have we have to do the same thing for this one Okay, and also yeah, and also yeah. Good. So once this is out of the way already, now we can go to our controllers here. We can go ahead and have a new controller. I'm going to call this post controller. So that all right. So for this post controller, we're going to do class post controller extends. So are we trying to extend the get text controller? All right, good. So once this is done, what we want to first want to do is um want to have our final posts equals to then once make it a list of an um observable list. I'm going to say final is loading force, and also we need the storage. So we're going to say final box. Is equals to get storage and we have to import get storage then from that we need to get the token so you're going to say final token final token is goes to um box dot read token so i'm having an error here the install levels cannot be initialized okay um what i can do is um okay you know what let's just move this away from this place let's just keep the keep it at that so what i want to do now is i um, have a future so you can say future get all posts this is going to be async all right then once that is isn't correct if you have to pass another try patch error so you can say try patch print e dot to string all right so once that is done this is a this is a get request so you can add the over http okay we have to import http response also there's an import package http as http so good i can go ahead and do int um var http response response is equals to wow i mean this error now let's just write response equals to await http dot get so what what is the first thing we want to get we want to get and do uri dot pass so import this url from the constant and it, this is fits they want to go ahead and have an header the header will accept so basically what we have in this case here so we say accept application json then we want to have a um, barrier token actually so you are going to see barrier all right so box are trade token um i'm trying to look at if it's barrier or barrier token like this barrier token like this i think it's barrier token like this okay now we can go if um response if response or status code equals to 200 we can go ahead and print um json dot decode response of body else we are still going to print the same thing all right save this and um yeah so this should basically work now we can go to our um home page so in our home page right here we can go and do final 
Oppose controller. What is this? What is this? I, I hate this actually because I don't know why my system likes playing with me. Auto complete is killing me. It's not auto completing at all. It's just there, like like it's doing some kind of fashion, fashion parade. It's supposed to be post controller. So I'm going to call this post controller. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I think I will just change this to. Test controller instead. Because it's conflicting with um, what we have. So import get text also. The first thing I want to do is I'm change this to test controller. Okay, good. So once this is done already, let's just save this and see if we get any response. So before that, we have to go to our post controller here, then we can go ahead and say on the need. So basically, once everything has loaded up. I'm going to have a um, get all opus. So basically, this is like saying, um, this is like the any state in our in our file. Like when you use an any state in this kind of place in our status widget. All right, now let's go ahead and auto start this and let's take a look at our our code. So let's just start this. Okay, now we have an error that says bear token is incorrect. So basically, I believe it's not bear token. Then, then it is um. Oh yeah, I believe. Is it bear? I think it's authentication. I'm not even sure at this moment. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I believe it's authentication or bear. You know what? Let's just head over to my previous code. Let me just check. Let me just check my previous code. Uh, post controller. They want to uh, yeah, it's authorization. Then barrier token. Yeah, uh, uh, looking at it's barrier token. This is authorization. Then it is barrier token. Yeah, so it is barrier token like this. We can save this and um, let's get an ultra start again. Ultra start. Then you go to the login. I don't know why it's doing that, but we'll fix it later. Then check it out. Yeah, good. Now you can see we have our data now. So once this is done already, what we can go ahead and do is cut this out. Then we can go ahead and do a uh, posted value. What is this? Now we can go and pose our value JSON or the code. It's not the tag actually. This is fit. Why did I know that it's filled? Because our postman here, you can see the beginning is filled. So that is what we have to pass in there. And um, I actually don't do it like this. What I would do is um, what I do is um, for so I I use I loop into it. So for um, item in JSON fits. Alright, so basically, like what I have in this case, so I can see, you can say I have final content, say for content, um, for variety item the content, I can go ahead and post value dot add. So the reason why this is having post value dot add is because it has um Rx kind of leak stuff. So I, I believe I'm going, I'm going to use Rx kind of leak. So to specify the type of um value we are expecting. Um, so we are going to do so this we are going to do. How do I how do I do it? Actually, forgotten I did this. So this is supposed to be Rx list post um post model. So you have to import the post import the post model. Then you are also going to now do this is posts. Now we are going to do Rx list. Okay, good. Then right here is going to be posts. Um, value dot add. All right, save it, and yeah, we should be done. All right, so now that this is done, we can go to our home dot dot. All right, so where we have this home dot dot here, 
and um, we can just go ahead and cut this, remove all this one, and we can go ahead and wrap this with a string builder like we did the last time because it's an OBX, so you can say OBX. Now we have an error because of um stuff. So before that, I want to okay, we have is loading already. So yeah, I want to go ahead and have my is loading should be true, and yeah, it should be false. Then yeah, it should be also false, and I also like passing it here, so it should be false also in this place. Good. All right. Then in our home dot that now we cannot go ahead and do return post controller dot is loading dot value so if it is true i want to have a um, circle loading bar then we'll return this post data here so let's see this and let's see what we have so i have nothing so let's just auto restart and let's see if we get anything to so auto restart okay then we should do this like i can see it is loading now we have our data here Good. um now we have two data actually so in this case we're going to turn this um a list view builder as you can see shrink that should be true then here we want to have a value dot length all right and i'll um, pose it here yeah, so in our post data, we have to um, accept. Why is this not clickable? Okay. I believe it's post data, I called it. Oh, it's double T. Wow. Let's just change it to post data. But for the post data, you have to pass in our final post. So this is post here. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and do final post. Ah, uh, yeah, we can just make this required. So for better stuff, I believe we can go ahead and do final post model. Select the type. So post model of post, and we can go ahead and say this is required. All right. So basically, I think that will be okay. So now in this text here. Uh, I'm gonna say post dot title rather than title. You say post dot um user dot name. I believe. Yep. Can I have a uh, what error are we having in this place? So basically, those guys and do quick fix. No. Um, I believe you can add it at the end of this place. Sorry, then also we can add it here. Um, we can copy this and we can also make this for the email. So this is going to be email. Then we can go ahead and just delete this. Okay, we don't want all this that is here. And it is not body, it is, uh, I believe it is content also. So we are going to say post content. Good. So we can save this and uh, what happened there having this error? So it's not defined for this type of oh, dot value. Yeah, so we can save this. Now let's go ahead and auto restart. Auto restart is Okay, so let's just uh, reload. So we have another that says this is not type. So what I want to do is I can cut this, then I I'll run this as a debug mode in a debug mode. So we run this in a debug mode. Okay, sorry, so an error occurred when I was actually recording the solution to this. I don't know why it actually did not record. So the solution to this is that we just have to call before it was actually something like this that we added so this won't work because we are just passing the json response so we have to pass it 
just like this. So post model dot from JSON, then I'll select the item. As you can see, I've cleaned the code here. So basically, you can go ahead and do this as well. So once we do this, now you can go ahead and auto restart. Then once you auto restart, then we should be having this from our, in our database. So basically, we to fetch all the post from our database. Yeah. So really that is all for this tutorial. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.